Welcome to this month's box. I'm so excited. We're actually here at Zavala's Barbecue, located on Brisket and Main, downtown Grand Prairie. But I have, it's so funny. I was, I was, I was stalking this dude when he first came back to Texas. Like he was doing some pop-ups down in Austin. His food looked incredible to start with. And then one day he was like, does anybody know somebody that could do sauces and rubs? And I'm like, man, I think I, I think this guy has something. So I got him introduced to our good friend Mason, and I'm so excited because we have none other than Gabrick's Barbecue, Mr. Mark Gabrick, this month, and we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. And his food's the most exciting. And I'm not gonna lie to you, his is sauce and rubs is something that I use all the time. And his pickles, oh my god, they're so great. I wish I could steal the recipe and sell them for myself, but he'll probably get mad about that. So we'll be back. Oh my God. Backyard. That's what we're serving the This is live. It's Golden, brown, and delicious. That's what we all call you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is a backyard. I've always been scared to fry in the backyard. I hate frying. And we're gonna do some fried stuff. And it's barbecue. Like, can you believe that you're gonna be using barbecue seasoning and barbecue sauce to fry stuff? And none other than the OG, I'm gonna call him OG of barbecue. He was doing this before us. Mr. Mark, got it. Hey, Joe. Thanks, buddy. Man, I am so excited for you to be here. Like, you're taking one of my fears away and making it easier, especially in this market that we're yeah. in. Like, people may not have time to smoke something or they may be intimidated to spend money to smoke, but I don't think people are afraid I'm afraid to fry, but I think most people aren't. It's right. something that everybody grew up with. Right. right, absolutely. And this is such good comfort food where you're taking the elements of barbecue and you're making it accessible for weeknight meals. You know, your kids can join in, they can hammer the meat out, they can dip. You can even freeze this stuff and eat it later through the week. And one of the things that I like is, you know, if the weather's inclement, I know you have customers up north or all over, take your barbecue sauce, mix it in different ways rather than just putting on so you can eat more barbecue sauce. Right? Eat more barbecue sauce because <laughs> I, I think people may not really know the empire that you have. I'm gonna call it empire because it's one of the things that people strive for, especially here in Texas. Like, the, correct me wrong, but you're at all of HEBs in Texas, right? Yeah, correct. Like, yeah. Do you, did you hear what I just said? You're in all of HEBs in Texas. I know, I know. That's incredible. Thank you. Like, it, and I know that's hard work. Like, you started from the ground up here. Yeah, yeah, It's it's been quite a journey. We got started during the pandemic and we had to pivot like a lot of um, other people. And we just kind of asked ourselves, what do we have in our hands to work with? And people kept asking us for our sauce. So we took that as an opportunity to um, get it bottled up and we pitched it to HEB and they onboarded us immediately and we won their uh, quest for Texas best for 2020 and from there it's just been a journey from starting with sauces to adding rubs along the way I like to think of it as a sauce company that happens to have a few rubs and we but your rubs are great yeah like yeah. don't downplay your rubs they're great thank you your thank sauce you. are amazing this is, i think they're some of the best in texas like truthfully thank you but your rubs are great too well you know i want to create the restaurant experience at home i want to be able to allow people to make what you go out and get at the restaurants and eat that in your backyard so we're going to do our chicken rub and one of the things that i've been seeing pop up around town is um couple months back you had Aaron Franklin uh, teaming up with um, Hattie B's um, I want to say who's Aaron Franklin again yeah yeah I think he's down in another town right yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I want to say even had Daniel Vaughn doing a katsu with the Goldies team right yeah so they also did a fried um, I've seen often Styles and Switch do a fried sandwich Styles style Switch is probably the most exciting barbecue menu with Evan Leroy because they take it to the next level. They, yeah. they, they, they push the boundaries of what barbecue is supposed to be. Right? Yeah, yeah. And one of the things about taking barbecue sauces and use them in different ways, or even a hot sauce, which is what we're going to use today, is Styles and Switch as an example. They took their hot sauce and they emulsified it with brisket fat. And you drizzle that on. So if people don't know brisket fat, that's that stuff called tallow. Yeah. And you mix that in and pour it on a sandwich. It's so good. And you can top it with a slaw. You can top it with a pimento cheese, um, pickles. 
So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Man, I'm so excited. So we're gonna be doing two fried items today. Correct. And those are? We're doing a panko pork Ooh. with pickles. And then we're going to do just a classic chicken plate sandwich. This is what we eat on weekday nights. and. We never get tired of this. It's something you can eat over and over and over again. You're just gonna take your chicken, you're gonna pound it out, you're gonna fry it, dip it, fry it, and then we'll eat that over a couple nights a week or we'll freeze it and then we'll pop it into the toaster oven for quick meals oh or sandwiches. God. I didn't even think about that. You can go ahead and fry it, freeze it, yep. and then reheat it. Yep, absolutely. And you know what's in it. There's no crap in it, right? No crap. No crap in it, just really good food. So. We're gonna come back, we're gonna make sure the oil's good, and then we're gonna rock and roll, and we're gonna get to frying. We'll be back. Yep. You know what I'm really excited about? I've been on a pork and a chicken kick, and you do pork and chicken today. Yeah. And also, you can go buy a whole bunch of pork, a whole bunch of chicken, do it 10,000 different ways, and have fun with it. Yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, you know, beef, I'm not gonna lie, beef is a little expensive. It is, it is, it really is. One of the things that we found is as inflation goes up, people are looking for ways to make the cheaper cuts of meat better. This is definitely one of them. And then sauce just kind of amplifies it all up. I love so. sauce. Now, let me tell you something. Whoever said that sauce is bad for barbecue, they're lying to you. Sauce is the greatest thing for barbecue. I put sauce on everything. Yep. Yes, I said it. Yep, absolutely. I mean, even at home when I'm cooking a brisket, of course I'm gonna take that first slice and I'm gonna eat it, but I have three quarters of a brisket for the next couple days that's all being sauced in chopped sandwiches. It's the best. Yeah, yeah like, for sure. There's nothing better than chopped sauce, pickles, onions, maybe a little mm -hmm. jalapenos. You gotta touch the bun though. Absolutely, you gotta always, touch the bun. always. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, so what do we got going on? Okay, so we're gonna start with our pork. This is just a uh, boneless pork loin that we get from the grocery store. I take a mallet and I'm pounding this out. This is again where I say, bring the family in, oh, let yeah. the kids have fun, they love to do this. And it gets everybody in the kitchen. Pound that out. We're going to season it with our chicken rub. This is where we need to pause because I didn't undo this. Oh, it's okay. This is live TV. Okay. Here, let me get this off for you. This shows you how fresh this is. <laughs> Smell that. Oh my God. I know, that good? It's different. You guys, there is it's no... Like, it's like, do you have like, I don't want to say this, but do you have like some chicken bouillon in here? There is nothing like this. Nothing, nothing. Like you can, you can tell yeah, this is chicken. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So we're gonna sprinkle it on. This is like Be some gentle. Shit right here. Be generous. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So you're looking for something like that. I don't know, you can see that in the light. Oh yeah. And we're gonna press that in. Get into all those crevices. Egg. Couple dips. And then we're going straight to panko. We're doing panko on this. On the chicken, we'll do um, the breadcrumbs. And this is just plain panko. If you wanna do anything different, you know, there's garlic, herb, panko, all different kinds. Put that back in. Then I always like to hit it one more time. There's no sugar in this rub, so it's a really nice salty rub. And drop that in. Always away from me, right? Yep. And I'm looking for about 145 on this. Again, this is pork. That's why it's 145, so don't freak out. Yep. Man, and it's so cool. And it's so good to have a thermopen. I need something that's quick. I need something that's fast. Um, you can actually smell your yeah. rub being fried. Yeah, it's nice. So we're already at 90, 100, 105. So it's getting up there. That is so cool. So you literally fry chicken and pork all the time. We do this, I would say once every seven to eight days in our family. You know one thing I miss uh, you posting all the time? When you were obsessed with pizza for a while, what happened? <laughs> Why did you stop doing that? I'm still doing it. Yeah, I'm still doing it. You know, um, 
See, you can tell I'm a stalker. People don't believe this, but I stalk everybody. Yeah. Like I, I always know what's going on. Yeah, that's funny. So Harold Pitmasters out of Waco built a- Oh my God, this is like- Yeah, it's I beautiful. would burn. Like you are the fry master. Yeah, that's so good. Get a nice golden crust on it. So Harold built me a, um, a pizza oven out of an end cap of a tank. So I've You're been, kidding me. No, I've been working on that right Why haven't you shown anybody that? <laughs> I'm still perfecting it. So now I put some blocks in it and uh, trying to work on heat maintenance. But uh, yeah. this guy here, he's underselling himself. He makes a lot of pizza and your pizzas look amazing. Thank you. Like my son's favorite thing is pizza. And then you, you brought your uh, boy in to help him out yeah. making the pizza the whole yeah. time, right? Yeah. Like y'all were like yeah. pizza for a long time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we do that. It's fun to cook in the fa uh, cook in the kitchen with your family, oh, you know? Yeah. I think um, that's one of the joys that we have. You know, my sons are now taking interest in, in cooking and now that they're a little bit older, they take me out to restaurants and they're like, let me show you this place, so. What kind of smoker do you have right now? I know you've uh, had some throughout the time and- I have um, a 250 uh, Moberg. Moberg, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you had a 500 or 1,000. Yeah, I had a 500. And then when the pandemic hit, um, I was trying to figure out, you know, how the heck am I going to fund the sauce company? Because it's not easy to start bringing all of this to market. So I sold the Moberg, which helped. And the idea was that I'll eventually get it back, you know. And two years later, I did. Thank God. It's hard to be in Texas without a smoker. Okay, that is so incredible. Like the color you have, I've never done that in my life. See that? You make that seem so simple. It is. Anybody can do that. Okay, so let's uh, move on to chicken. chicken. Okay, so same thing. We got it pounded out. Okay, nice little size there. We're going to season it up. Again, you can go generous on this. It's not going to burn because you don't have um, sugar in it. Season that up. Always felt like frying is a tall task, but you're making it seem simple. So anybody can do this in their backyard or inside yeah. their house. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And you know, the thing with this is you're going to make a whole bunch of these and you're going to, oops, I'm doing the wrong one. Well, we can, okay. we can still do this. You know what? Let's do both. Let's go panko and breadcrumb. I love it. This is going to be extra crispy. All right. You know how impressive that was that you just moved on? Like, that, like you, you don't understand. <laughs> Other people would be like, no, we got to start over. You say, oh, we'll just figure it out. I love it. You have to in barbecue, right? You ain't, you ain't playing about that. Can you believe that we're in the summertime and we have cloud cover and we're in like the mid nineties? This is insane. Okay seasoned up again and this is what I'm gonna use for a chicken plate you know chicken fried chicken that's gonna be a main meal you're gonna put that with some mashed potatoes or some mac and cheese some green beans and you're gonna use your sauce as a dipper in that would you use uh, your chicken uh, rub for a chicken fried steak or would you uh, use a different one yeah I would use that one yeah for sure I love chicken fried steaks yeah and it's cool to see a lot of barbecue joints like mm -hmm. incorporating chicken fried steaks. Yeah. Are you a sirloin guy, a ribeye guy on your uh, chicken fried steak? Yeah, I do like ribeye. Um, I would do sirloin too. Yeah. Um, you know, find those cheaper cuts of meats, tenderize them up. You know, I think uh, H-E-B or your local grocery store, you're gonna- No, you can say H-E-B. Go to your find, local H-E-B or Central Market. You're gonna find that right now. There's lots of tenderized items we're actually getting an heb in heb uh in two years i'm so excited nice yeah i always thought heb owned the city of heb but no they don't say antonio <laughs> okay we're at 120. wow that is fast yeah it really is so you have dinner done in 15 to 25 uh -huh. minutes yeah so resting it on the um paper towels I mean, look, there's not even a lot of grease no. draining from there. This is so good. And like, 
you can literally smell your rub being fried. I know, it's so different. It's so different. And we're taking this, like, I'm kind of one of those dudes, I know 165 is a number, but I'm okay if it goes over 165. Gotta love GP. GP's going GP. I wonder if that was a car chase. Might be. <laughs> oh, that's fun. So, um, sometimes I'll take it a little bit under 165. I mean, this is for me. I know, yeah, I know, you know, for the sake of this commercial or this. No, no, you can say what you want. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I will sometimes do 160 and then it'll rise it'll when rise it's up. up. It'll hit it. Yeah, because as I'm doing these in my house, um, I'm putting them on a, a paper towel plate and then I might be putting them up in the microwave as kind of a warm holding yep. unit. Yep. That's all I use my microwave for is really storage. Um, no, that makes sense. So, let's And I see. thought the first one was a fluke, but you actually have the same color of golden brown on yeah. the chicken too. So I can't call you a one hit wonder. But you know what? Having a good pan helps too, yeah. you know? Cast iron pans, um, so nice and even. I have a ironclad at home. It does not do anything like this one does. It does it for real? No, this one's awesome. This is Fredericksburg, right? Yeah, this is a Fredericksburg brand, um, 12 inch, super smooth. Um, and this one comes like uh, pre uh, season two, right? Yep. Yeah, I think they're using avocado oil to season it. Okay, I think we're almost done here. At 148 over here. Getting close. Yep. So again, flour, egg, panko, and this was uh, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And you did the plain panko and breadcrumbs. Correct. But if people want to have extra fun, they could probably mix in the seasoning in the, uh, actually you mix it in everything. That you yeah, have. you could, absolutely. Yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't. Yeah. And that means they get to use more and then they have to buy more. I promise you, this will be a seasoning you'll never get tired of. Okay. Let that grease drain. Okay. Look, at, they're the exact same color. I know, isn't that beautiful? Like you, like, I would have screwed that up. The exact same color. Thank you. So we're going to uh, let okay. this rest for a couple of minutes? Yeah, we're going to let it rest and then we can build um, sandwiches. All right, we'll be back. the block coming to you from nice. the blocks they're partners of ours uh so i had to go get mine it's a slop one this is like i got this like three years ago and i beat it up and the thing just looks beautiful and it's working yeah beautiful nice but thank you i'm so excited we got some mashed potatoes yeah we got some green beans because this is a chicken yeah we're just doing some comfort food today and then on this particular plate i like two sauces with this either our spicy red or the candy jalapeno i'm gonna put sauce on it yeah go ahead and then dig in and you're gonna taste all the goodness there you're gonna get that God, your sauce is so very good. distinct chicken taste your sauce i don't know if you know this i guess you do because you created it but it's just so addicting like you just go back because you want more and more yeah it's oh my god it's so nice. juicy Enjoy. I'm not comparing this. So about two years ago, I stopped eating fast food. I'm down by like 45 pounds. Mm -hmm. My go-to was spicy Wendy's chicken nuggets with mm -hmm. a barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I don't want to compare it to it because this is a thousand times better, but it's, it's invoking those memories yeah. of, yeah. oh my God, I wish I had the spicy chicken nuggets. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Do nuggets with it. Pound it out and make a big plate with it. There's so many things that you can do with this. And again, freeze it and then make fast meals throughout the week when you're busy. If there's any barbecue joints that has a fryer and they're not using it, like you need to steal this idea and like you think you want gravy with this? Barbecue sauce. Yeah. 
and that rub is so unique on it. Well, one more bite, we're gonna move on to the pork. But I don't know if it's because I need breakfast or what, but <laughs> look, I'm really doing this. Like, oh my God. Like, and you can actually see like your rub mm -hmm. penetrate through. Yeah. So you're actually tasting it. Excuse me. All right, last bite, I swear. I'm gonna throw a pickle on top. You can actually make a sandwich, chicken, you can make a better Chick-fil-A sandwich out of this. Oh yeah, for sure. And we're gonna do that with pork here. Okay. Sorry, this is just so good. We can move on to your pork sandwich. Okay. Oh my God. I know, isn't that good? I mean, there's nothing like it. I'm gonna finish that off. That, that is uh, unbelievable. Okay. So we toasted the bun inside. Always toast your bun. Yeah. Nick, Pinsets, Stanley's, like I don't want you to get pissed off. Toast your bun. Okay, so we're gonna do actually our spicy red sauce. Oh, the spicy um, red sauce. You know what, I have it on the That's counter okay. inside. Or you can use the candy jalapeno. Yeah, or the candy jalapeno. And we're gonna make it creamy. And I just wanna look at barbecue sauce from a different lens where you can mix it with ranch, you can mix it with mayo, you can mix it with brisket fat. So many different things you can do it. In this application, I've taken- I like, I like sloppy sloppy, so you get the a lot Absolutely. Of so we're gonna do two parts of spicy red with one part of mayo. Cool. And if you want it spicier, go three to one, okay? So you got a toasted brioche. You're gonna put this on. And I even like a little on top. Okay. My wife will love this. She loves mayo. Yeah. For like, sure. Excuse me. Mayonnaise. She loves mayonnaise. And then. Not Miracle Whip. It's not know, the same. You know what? Before we even do one with slaw, I want you to just try it in its purest form with just pickles and a sandwich. Well, I'm gonna cut it in half so we can put slaw on the other side. How's that sound? There you go. So now I have uh, two slaws here. I have a vinegar-based slaw. This is made out of um, white wine. And then I have a creamy coleslaw. So whatever your preference is. Oh my God, this is pork. We're eating a pork. I know. And that's something else. My favorite protein right now is pork. At the house, that's all I'm cooking. Like, this is pickle, mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce. That's it. And you guys good bread. You gotta get, you gotta have good bread. Mm. Isn't that good? So good. What slaw do you want me to put on there? Well, use your preference. So if you like a vinegar-based or do you like a creamy-based? Let's go vinegar. Okay. I want vinegar. Vinegar on top of vinegar on top of vinegar. There we go. There we go. And I'm sorry I'm not sharing. No, it's all yours. Oh, look, look, look at that. Mmm. Not good. Get that acid in there with that salt. You get that buttery brioche. So good, so good. You're making me rethink what barbecue is. Like, this is barbecue. It's comfort food. I mean, you have celebration food and comfort food. It all is on the same menu, I think, right? Go ahead. Man, this is like, you don't understand. This is food like, I don't know if y'all have this problem with the, at home, but like, what are we gonna eat? I don't know. Like, I'm like, we can, like, the way you execute this, like, and it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like, oh my God, I'm eating grease. You're just eating crunchy pork, crunchy chicken. Yep, yep, absolutely. We got a good oil. You can use tallow oil. We're using a peanut oil today. Quick fry, good quality meats. It's so good. And I know every ingredient that's in it, you know, I mean, be proud of what you can serve your family. So what's really exciting is this month, they're gonna be getting your chicken rub mm -hmm. and your uh, barbecue sauce. Okay. Um, but where can people find you? 
Well, you can find me online. I'm on uh, Gabrick's Barbecue on Instagram and Facebook. If at some point in time you had been following us and maybe you're disconnected, our account got hacked. So please join us again. We have a new account. And oh, no, which uh, media? On actually both. Both were hacked because oh, they were no. linked together. Oh, okay. So everything got wiped out. Even our uh, personal page, we lost people. It's so strange. You gotta love Grand Prairie. We got car chases going on. We got trains behind us and we have the fire station across the street. They're our best friends there, you know? I'll just say that. So yeah, catch us on social media, Gabrick's Barbecue, BBQ, BBQ. on uh, Facebook and we're on Instagram, mostly Instagram. The website? Uh, GabrickBBQ.com, G-A-B-R-I-C-K-B-B-Q.com. And all the HEBs. Yes, all the HEBs. Like that's a huge accomplishment. Thank I want you. you to know that. Thank that's you. something that all of us barbecue joints strive for and you're there. Thank you. Like well, that's amazing. Yeah, we're we're uh, definitely honored to be there feeding Texas. You know, as I said, we lost our restaurant through the pandemic and you know, we had 15 tables and now we've been fortunate enough to feed many tables across the state. I like state, that. You you're know? Right. Yeah, so things things work out. So we stay positive and we just want to give you good food, bring people together with great ingredients. There's no high fructose corn syrup, no bioengineered ingredients, you know, just quality stuff that we're proud to serve our family. Well, I appreciate you coming to Grand Prairie and doing this. We're going to wrap this up because I got to finish eating this food. Thank you. And yeah. Joe, thank you for letting me ride shotgun with you today. Oh man, you're appreciate amazing. It. Love you Thanks, so much. Buddy. Absolutely. Appreciate you. We're out.